Okay guys, welcome to the first uh, video on this channel. Uh, this channel is going to be about sort of my life and with my quails and you guys are just here for along with the journey. So let's get into it. Okay, um, so basically I've had quails for about a little while now. I got them in summer. It's winter right now, early in the morning. There's some dew on the ground. And I first bought eight quails. I'll show you them. These are the eight quails with the cage that I got for them. And I basically just got them, had them for a bit. They started laying eggs. And then one day, oh look, there's an egg in there, if you can see that. One day, I just sort of, we set up an incubator, me and my dad. And then we hatched out. On my first hatch, I got 71% hatch rate, which is really good. And I'll show you the babies now. This is their cage. This is their cage. You can see them all in there. We got this new cage for them. It's pretty nice. It's up on wheels. And you can move it along. But one night, because it was bare bottom, rats got in and they killed six quails. Six of the baby quails, which wasn't really nice. So we've now put this mesh along the bottom. We've set it up with some stuff. And now we're hoping that it's uh, rat proof. And this is what I've done so far. This is Obi, and this is Nugget. Hi, Nugget. Their water there. Their feeds. Food in there. Let's go collect this egg over here. Okay, so I'm at this cage now. I also have these lights here, so then you'll trick them into thinking that it's summer because they. They need higher day, so then they can lay their eggs and breed. Let me get in here. Okay, close this door on me. Okay, oh, bit of grass. So in here, there's a quail there. They all have names, these first day. And some of the other ones have names. I'll tell you those in a little bit. So that's Dwight, he's a male. And then that's Roaster, he's the other male. That is, I don't know, I can't remember them all. I'm pretty sure that's Yum, my dad named that one. This is our blue variant. They're called blue because they're slightly faded and gray. I don't know why, that one's name is Ducky. She has a big problem. We had to snip it the other day. Oh, there's an egg there, wait, see that? Oh, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can get her. I'll have to sit this. Tripod down the outside, come back. These new quails. So, oh, if I can get in here, I'll get this quail leg. You guys can't see me, I'm not on camera. Okay, here's my hand. I'll have to grab it. Can see it, and that's, that's my hand. I got pretty small hands, but that's a quail leg. If I can. Get behind here. Get this one. Here. Okay. Got it. Okay, so that's basically the morning routine. I just got two eggs. That's pretty lucky in winter right now. So that won't happen every morning, but I'll come film later when I'm coming to top up their feeders and I can tell you all their names. So I'll see you in a couple seconds for you, but for me, it'll be a few hours. Okay, it is now time to do the quails in the afternoon, so I'm just gonna get their feed. It's what I do to hold their feed, it's just the milk carton, cut off the top. This was this one was actually a juice carton, and I just painted it, whatever. So, anyway. oh. Keep the food in, a, in the bag, in the bin. That's the food. This, this is just a quail game bird starter. Okay, this one, I did have some uh, starter mix, but I just ran out. But that's okay because they're uh, adults now. A little bit of that. And another one. This one is an actual milk cotton, and it's kind of. Okay. Oh. Okay, both of the food, and now I'm gonna go over and do the quails. Okay, I'm over at the quails now. 
and I'll show you how to top up their feeds. Okay, I'm just gonna lift this up, grab this one, the eight quails, the adults, they only, there's only eight of them, so they only have one feeder. And with the babies, because there's, I think there's 20 of them, they have two feeders. By the way, if you're doing math and you're like, wait a minute, 71% of 55 eggs, that's not 20 quails. Well, at birth, I had one little chick die, which was kind of sad. And then I sold four quails to a friend. And then six got eaten by rats, which was very sad. And that leaves us with 20. So if you add it all up, which I'm not going to do now, that's how many baby quails I had. Excuse me. Okay. To the adults, now let's go to the babies. Okay, so I'm at the oh, baby quails now. I have this chain here, so then I can leave this open. And I can get in here. And, oh. I can get in here and get... Feed is one and a two. Oh, excuse me. Oh, if I can get it out. Can you close this up so I don't try and escape? Basically the same with the adult ones. If you saw me shaking the lids off, it's because there's a little bit of sand on the top from the dust boss. Quails in the wild, they'll dig little tiny holes in the ground, only like, like little bugs. And they'll shake around, and that's how they'll get cool, by spraying all the dust and dirt around them. We add like mite stuff into their dust, it also cleans them, which is really good. And then, ugh. And we have to shake that off the top of the lids, otherwise, actually, it's fine to stay on there, it just looks nicer and neater. This one in here. This cage was designed for like 30 quail, but now that I only have 20, it's kind of big for them. And he, here's a little male, you can see by his tag, all the males have nice green tags. Put him back in there. See if I can find you a female. This is one of the wild females. Got the blue tag or the red tag. She's got a blue one. And I get out. And I'll show you something useful with this cage. Down here, we have it lifted off the ground. And then all of the poop will fall right through and it doesn't get stuck onto the mesh, which is really, really neat. Oh, I left this open. Close that. Mom, now that is how I do my quails every day, which is very simple, easy. Check them in the morning, and then I top up their food. Sometimes I clean out their waters, but they're pretty clean today. And that is what it's like to have quails. So please stick around, subscribe, leave a like. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.